All right, we just got to the Dollar Tree and we're gonna go, what does a minimalist buy at the Dollar Tree? So we're gonna go inside, show you some of favorites, things we always get here, but also some kind of fun gift ideas too that are a little bit outside of the box. Did you find another Christmas gift idea? Yes, wishing you peace and joy this holiday season. That's cute. Okay, we need to, the, the hot chocolate's good, but we have to see if they have the mug cakes here at this location because that's like the best to put with it. Oh yeah, because these ones are cute. Look at them. Oh, Santa. Oh, cute. Just don't give them to teachers. They already have enough mugs. Okay. <laughs> Look, this one is just wintry. Oh, there you go. Not so then it's longer. good past Christmas yeah. too. I like it. I'm stocking up, but look. I'm only a morning person on December 25th. <laughs> That's super That's cute. That's adorable. That's really cute. Okay. Who okay. are you giving these to? Do you know? Um, I find. actually wanted for my Christmas tea. Oh. I wanted a few mugs for people who want coffee instead of tea. Then you could tell me I can take yeah, them home with them. Oh. And I was just checking her hair <laughs> in the camera. <laughs> okay, so I love for a quick gift idea is the inventor's boxes for kids. And basically all you do is get like masking tape or painter's tape and then just any fun like craft supplies and they have so much here now. So especially like these wood blocks are really fun, um, the mini clothes pins, and then we'll go to the like craft section too and get like pipe cleaners and that. They also, you can get a low heat glue gun on Amazon and the glue sticks that are here work. You don't have to get the low heat glue sticks. So I get glue sticks here too because the kids will go through them all in like one day. So here's the glue sticks. You just whatever size your glue gun is. Um, but we even put like the mini glue sticks, sticks in a bigger glue gun and it still works fine. The kids will make it work, it's totally fine. So Diana just asked about paint. So with our inventors boxes, I stay away from anything too messy. So I don't do like paint. We keep it more just like all the wood supplies and tape and glue. That is super easy to clean up and then I just avoid this whole section there. All right, Diana's gonna tell you about another of our favorite gift ideas. Did did I start this? Okay, <laughs> don't. Was this my idea? <laughs> I don't know why that matters. Do you to have me. a person in your life that I, it's always their idea? But do you remember we've been giving this as a wedding gift? Oh, for a that's long what it was. Time, yeah, where you would just put together like a variety of greeting cards and just to give something a little different off registry. Yeah. But for Christmas, this is wonderful. Like a few thank yous, a few um, birthday cards, sympathy yeah. cards. And like then shower a cards inside mm -hmm. and a dollar two a dollar or two, two for, for a dollar, dollar. and they actually have some really nice faith-based ones here mm -hmm. i gave some really like pretty birthday cards recently too yep. i usually go to the two for a dollar side but <laughs> these are really nice <laughs> depends on your budget yeah and then you can add like stamps and stuff too if you want to like some again pen. depending on how your yeah. how the budget is find a cool box to put them in yeah we gave this to my grandma last year and she loved it happy birthday <laughs> the pink ones. I right? the large, I don't oh, know. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, need help. Okay. <laughs> okay. This was an awesome tip to put on your rubber gloves before you fluff your Christmas tree. Look at my hands. Look at my manicure. It's still perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great tip. But great place to pick up those uh, rubber gloves for, I mean, just for protecting your hands for everything this time of year. Yeah. And these our mom taught us to take those and to cut them. So she cuts them into like four pieces when you're just using for scrubbing dishes. And then that whole pack, is there like five in there? I, I think know. it lasts forever. Cause then you cut them into pieces, but then they're the right size. Do you kind of feel, I feel like I'm on the prices right, right now. <laughs> like at, at the grocery store, this would right, be right. $1 and 49 cents. Yeah. Did I win? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Another fun DIY Christmas gift. That's non lame. Um, is to make your own Red Robin fry seasoning. Wait, are DIY Christmas gifts lame? Well, they can be, oh, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so the basis of it is paprika, actually. So you can get that here. I think I'll put the recipe up, but I think almost everything else you probably have at your house, but to be able to grab some of this here, um, you use like salt and stuff too, but so much cheaper here. And then you can get like a cute jar or shaker here. So let's go over to the next aisle and see if we can find one of those. Following you. I don't usually get a cart. <laughs> <laughs> well, I but found all those all mugs. Necessary, right? We had to put all my mugs in there. Yeah. Let's see which we way. Go I think we gotta way. go this way. Ooh, a brownie mix for a dollar. I know, actually, bad. look at all this baking section. Okay, here we go. And frosting. 
So it kind of depends how much you want to make. This is kind of cute. No, wouldn't that be cute? You could make a little label for your fry seasoning. Yep. Otherwise they have like the sugar shakers usually. All right, so I think uh, cleaning products are kind of a no-brainer to get here. We love the Totally Awesome brand. Um, they actually have a citrus cleaner now. Our brother used to be a professional cleaner, carpet cleaner. He would always recommend citrus because it breaks down like the grease and the different things. Um, so this we have used and really like. The brand name products, if you actually look at the price per ounce, it's more expensive here. So we don't get any of the brand name stuff here. We just stick with um, this brand. The other one I wanna find, oh, this. And then this one is perfect for car interiors. It, it, this will get anything out of your car interior. So this we recommend for that, but these have been awesome. <laughs> like the name. <laughs> is that two of them? Yeah. For a dollar? <laughs> so my three-year-old just discovered the joy of the dollar store and she wanted to get this cute little house, but she was only allowed to get one thing and then she saw the ring pops. <laughs> So this stayed at the store. <laughs> so maybe I'll get this You made her, her choose. Oh, that's so hard. Yeah, it's fun. Look at this. Cute. Getting stuff here. Yeah. yeah. They have some cute stuff. Cute ornaments and mm -hmm. fun little things. I think so. I think all these things too are cute to like, if you're just giving a gift card, not just. Gift cards are appreciated, but they have lots of fun things that you can wrap it in or put it with a box of candy or uh, a cute little, a cute little stuffed animal. Kids like getting gift cards, so don't be afraid to do that. But don't get me a gift card. Oh, okay. Diana, Diana's not okay with gift cards. Actually, I would like a gift card in this. Look how That's cute really cute. <laughs> so then I can. Okay. I'm not getting Diana a gift card. <laughs> we'll have to do a video opening our gifts to each other again this year, though. These are so cute. That is really cute. Oh, oh even there you go. It has a spot for it. See, gift cards can be thoughtful. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> Known for the holidays. <laughs> They're so clever here with these. Diana, put the mugs back. Okay. <laughs> Diana's still shopping for mugs, but we do get homeschooling stuff here too. You have to be kind of selective with the workbooks. Not all of them are as good, but um, the kids enjoy them. And so we get some stuff here, but it's, it's easy to go overboard with it. So I try not to get too much. Gift bags are a must here, right? Do you, I mean, all of them. Yep. Don't you like, if you have to get one at like Target, you're just like, uh, why $3? would they $4 yeah. when I could get it here for like a dollar? So <laughs> for I mean, how much at the dollar <laughs> <Yeah>. store? <laughs> so we get all of our party supplies, wrapping stuff here, but I think most people do. So I don't think that's anything new. <laughs> Did you only end up getting two of them? Three. Oh, okay. But that's pretty good, huh? And you're okay getting an odd number, huh? They're just gonna kind of sit out and look cute. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like it. Can I, can I have just one of these? Yeah, you okay. can do that. <laughs> Cause Diana doesn't want to spend a whole dollar here. <laughs> Are you wearing my coat that I forgot at your house? I love this. You can, you can have it. Cause I just bought this one because I didn't have it for so long. I was freezing. Well, I was gonna ask you if you found another one. Thank you. This is the story of our lives right here. Yeah. Oh, did I just break one of your mugs? Oh. oh no, it's the jar. It's okay, that's better. <laughs> okay, now that we cleaned up all the glass. You actually broke my jar. I think it was like a dollar. <laughs> well, I would say besides breaking Diana's jar on the way out, <laughs> that that was a pretty successful trip. I want to show you a few more things I grabbed for the inventor's box. But Diana, why were you grabbing that jar? Well, I was going to show you, there are actually great jars here at the dollar store mm -hmm. for this gift exchange idea that we came up with. And so we'll link to that video and we'll just go through. It's a fun way to do a little exchange with friends or family or in the office and then some great ideas for what to put into it. All right. So jar gift ideas. Also Diana on my needs... channel, just let you know, do you think this is a good value? Three Kleenexes for a dollar? I think so. for the purse size, yeah. This time of year, it's kind of nice just to have them around. Yeah. So, um, also you'll find, we did a video with a good friend of ours, Jim mm -hmm. Tremba, on grieving at the holidays. Because yeah. I know for some people, there's been loss. 
life is just different. Maybe the holidays still look different. And so that's hard. So, so much right now. Just yeah. some support and mm -hmm. love and practical care for you if you're grieving or know someone else is who is at the And holidays. did you guys talk about on your video that Jim used to be on the radio with yeah. us? Yeah. That was so fun. No, we go way back in yeah. time. And so and his series on grieving through the holidays was so popular and people were just like, I needed this. I needed to be validated right now. Yeah. The holidays brings up like so much. So I'm really glad you guys did that. So we'll link to that as well. Um, if you want to grab my box there. So just grabbing one of these containers. I actually saw some full-size clothespins, so these are great. So I put those inside, um, rubber bands, huge hit at our house. And then some, a pad of like some colored paper. These are also really cool. They're adhesive glue dots. Adeline especially likes these when she's crafting. And then I put a full-size pair of scissors in. I actually trust our kids with scissors. So no. I like them to have their own and then they don't take mine. And then I did get some masking tape and it must have fell out some painters tape as well along with those other things I that love, we showed you i love how just calling it an inventor's mm -hmm. box just makes it sound so cool but it, yep this is a perfect kid gift so we have a printable that i'll link to down below too if you want to make a little label that you can put on there and then if you have any like if you have any random like craft supplies or dowel wood or anything like that you can toss that in too because it's an inventor's box. It's meant to be scrappy and or put it random. In, put it in one of your big Amazon boxes. Well, right? Yeah, this is actually a little limiting. If you have a bigger container at home, just use that. Like, yeah, totally. I, they love the cardboard box too, yeah, right? Yeah, super fun. Yeah. And I did grab a couple of greeting cards. I think everybody gets greeting cards there, but I just thought some of these faith-based ones are so pretty. So And the quality, again, the, the quality is there. Better. And you know people are going to throw them away, right? So... I mean, I hope to write something so meaningful that they keep it, but most often not. But then you would tell them, you would do a video and tell them not to keep it. That's probably yeah. true. <laughs> what else did we get? Um, I did, Diana snuck Adley's house into my, into my bag, so make sure Adley gets that, oh, right? <laughs> For her village. I can't believe you broke my jar. I know. It was kind of a... We were kind of rushing through the dollar tree. Uh, but you were just so excited when you got out. You're just like, look what I got. And then it was like, wait, that's mine. That was mine. I will say too, um, often when our kids have wanted to spend their own money, they ask to go to the dollar tree. And most of us know that a lot of the stuff here isn't high quality, right? Especially the toys. I was looking at like whenever I've come here and look at the toy aisle, aisle, I'm like, we've had one of every single thing in here. And I think a lot of parents can relate to that because they get their own money and they want to spend it and you can get a bunch of stuff here, right? And I'm totally okay with our kids spending their money here and then later having the conversation with them. Hey, do you notice when we get stuff there, it doesn't usually last as long or it breaks quickly. And then from there, now they save up for more expensive things. So we don't actually, we don't actually come to the dollar store that much anymore when they have their like spending day, which is like every two to three weeks. Um, and so it's okay to let them kind of learn this consumerism process. And I'm also not afraid to throw that stuff away now either. Once it's, we are going to have this year after year. <laughs> yeah. And I know we don't want to be wasteful, right? But I think this is one of those things that the kids have to experience for themselves that we can't just tell them like, oh no, that stuff's crap. Like you have to buy higher quality. I really feel like they kind of have to experience it for themselves. So I think it's a good, good learning lesson, opportunity. Look at, look at <laughs> good lesson. What else? And I also, you know, in the past, I think stores like this is kind of easy to like go crazy in it and be like, oh, I'll get that and that. And I don't know. Is it hard for you now? I don't feel like it's hard to go in there and just get the no, things I need. I feel like you kind of... Well, you impulse buy, bought mugs. <laughs> I was looking for mugs. Oh, for okay. Christmas. Sorry. My bad. I can actually show it to you on my shopping list. Oh, Colorful okay. Colorful Christmas mugs. Do you okay. want to see I, okay. No, I'm, I trust you. Yeah. No, I... Once you know these are the things I come here for, yeah. and most of these things aren't going to be with me for the long haul, yeah. I think it gets a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. We're, yeah. Yeah. So you learn the things that last and that work really well. Yep. Some of those cleaning products, I mean, they last so long and they work really well. So totally is fine for me. It's so value. all right. Well, we got to get this stuff home now and I, maybe I should run back in and buy Diana another jar. I'll just glue it back together. <laughs> yeah, <right>. Don't worry. <laughs> There's actually a gentleman that he was like, I'm so sorry. Diana's like, oh, it's only a dollar. <laughs> Hope I don't have seven years of bad luck. That's what he yeah. said. <laughs> 
So we would love to know what are your like go-tos always get at the dollar store? Is there anything we've like totally forgotten? I'm sure there is, but it's always fun to hear kind of what your favorites are too. Do you have a good Dollar Tree by you? Like we kind of have to travel a little bit to get this to a good one. one. This, this was is a good by one. my house, yeah. Yeah, no, I like this one. So anyways, or do you just not shop there anymore at all? Which I, I totally respect that years. too. Yeah. And now, but now with kids again, it's yep. kind of the place. All right, well, we hope that your holiday preparations are coming together well for Thanksgiving, but we love you. We hope you have a great day and we'll see you again soon.